What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another weekly watch list video. In this one, I'm going to share with you my entire portfolio. Then we're going to dive into what is happening in the market right now. And I'm going to share with you four different stocks, actually three stocks and one ETF that I have my eyes on this week. So let's jump right in. Okay, so you could say that it was a roller coaster of a week for me with regards to trading. I took some put options. I bought put options in Foot Locker going into earnings. And it turns out Foot Locker crushed earnings. And so my put options basically went down to zero. I'm down 97% on them. Luckily, this was a very small position. It was literally just an earnings play. I thought they were gonna gap up or gap down. Unfortunately, they gapped up and I basically lost the entire position. However, my marathon digital Bitcoin options, which is a much larger position, has done extremely well this week, going from about 30% in the profit to now 92% in the profit. And today, Saturday, as I'm gonna show you, the Bitcoin chart continues to go up. So going into next week, I expect this position to continue to do well. I also bought some options in Coursera, this week and I bought some stock in Amazon. I post all these trades to my Discord chat. So if you wanna see up-to-date analysis and when I make these trades, you can sign up for that with the link in the description. But let's jump into the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. When it comes to the NASDAQ, we have had an amazing couple of weeks here, but we are starting to level off just a little bit. We've got a crossover of the MACD and it looks like we're starting to take a small little break here as we begin to approach previous highs. When it comes to the S&P 500, we don't really see that slowdown, but we're definitely approaching previous highs and I'm expecting some resistance to kick in. When it comes to the Dow Jones, we have just broken through the previous resistance. We're looking really good and we're basically going up to that previous high that we set at the end of last year, which is really nice. When we look at the volatility index or the VIX, it is going in the downward direction still, which shows us that we have some calmness and we have no panic, no, nobody super worried and the market is not super volatile right now. For the most part, it's just been going steadily up. Same thing with the price of Bitcoin. Ever since, actually this time last year, I made a few videos and said, it is time to buy Bitcoin. You can go check my watch list videos from exactly this time, maybe a few weeks ahead last year. So one year back, Bitcoin was at like 16, 17, $18,000. I said it was time to buy it. And Bitcoin just continues to go up. This is what is driving up the price of Marathon Digital and my options there. And I expect this to continue to go up going into the holiday season. Now, if you're interested in getting started with crypto, Newton is gonna give you $25 in free crypto. If you just open an account, trade with $100 or more, you will get $25 instantly deposited into your account. It's like a 25% ROI, pretty much guaranteed, which is nice. So definitely check that out. When it comes to oil and gas, we just had some major announcements come out of OPEC. They are cutting and slashing and basically throttling back their production to hopefully limit the supply and drive up the prices because hopefully demand stays the same and the world doesn't really slow down. That would drive the prices back up, but it will be interesting to see what impact this has over the next few months. It is expected that they are not going to make any changes to this until basically the end of the first quarter next year. So we will see if this has any impact on the price. And if it does, those oil and gas companies might do well over the next few months. Now, when it comes to earnings this week, we have a couple of companies reporting earnings, but nothing major. We've got Neo and MongoDB on Tuesday. We've got GameStop and C3 AI on Wednesday. We got Dollar General on Thursday. We got Broadcam, Lululemon, and DocuSign on Thursday. So we've got a couple of exciting companies, but nothing crazy, no massive companies reporting. And when it comes to market conditions, it's actually gonna be a really interesting week. We have the Bank of Canada interest rate announcement coming out on Wednesday. And then next week, we have the interest rate decision from the US Federal Reserve. So we've got Canada this week, US next week. We also have US inflation numbers coming out next week actually on the morning of the rate announcement. So that is gonna be super interesting to see how that factors in. Canada also just announced that we had negative GDP in the third quarter, which is not a good sign. It does mean that we are not technically in a recession because this was just the first quarter of negative GDP, but it is not a good sign. And at the same time, while the Canadian GDP is declining, gold just hit an all time high. And so gold and Bitcoin doing extremely well, oil and gas not doing so hot right now. And uh, it's an interesting market out there. There are a lot of things going on. One other kind of industry and niche that I'm watching right now is uranium. If you notice here, prices have gone from $50 to 81. That is a pretty drastic increase and we are now sitting at the highest prices since 2008. Now I looked into a couple of companies when it came to uranium. Cameco, based 
least here in Canada, is actually one of the largest ones, but they are fairly expensive. And so I dropped down to a smaller company. And this is one that I actually profiled on my channel two years ago, back when the price was $2.21. It is now trading at $6.65. And the reason I wanna point it out is because we recently hit this level, right at the beginning of 2022, we got rejected, we came back down, and for all of 2022, we basically traded within this range. We are now approaching the top of that range, and if we see a breakout with continued spikes in uranium prices, that could be the catalyst that sends this stock higher for a short-term trade. Next one I wanna talk about here is Datadog. Datadog is a company that I like a lot. They continue to do well, they have great customers, and they just reported record revenue. If you look at their revenue, it is just a smooth and steady increase to the top right corner. It looks absolutely beautiful, and when you look at the stock, it has basically been trading sideways for about a year and a half now, and we are just starting to test the top bounds of that stock price. I like the company long-term, and if we can break out of 120, I am pretty optimistic. Next one here is Brookfield Renewables. If you are looking for a company that is gonna be here for a long time, that is gonna be important in the future, and that already pays a nice dividend, Brookfield Renewables is the company that I would like to choose. The company dropped down here to $30, and I thought, damn, it looks appealing there. I like it at $30 but it's like catching a falling knife. And so I waited for the trend to turn around. As you can see, the stock has now broken out of our long-term bearish trend. It's broken out of both of our short and long-term moving average. And now on Friday, we have just broken out of previous resistance. And so I like the stock. I think they're doing very well. If this trend continues, I'm a buyer and I'm putting Brookfield Renewables in my long-term portfolio. Now, the last one I wanna share with you is the ETF, like I mentioned. It's actually a Canadian bank ETF and it uses both leverage and covered call options to generate over 16% yield, which is absolutely amazing. And it's invested into Canadian banks, which is one of the most secure things that you can invest into. And so what I am watching for here is it's a fairly new ETF. The banks have been hit hard over the last few months here, but I think they're starting to bottom out. And so as soon as this starts to break through previous resistance at $18 here, we've already crossed above our moving averages here. I like this ETF. I think it's a good long-term hold. You're invested into one of the best industries that you could buy into. It has an amazing yield on it because of the leverage and because of the covered calls. And I just think long-term, this could be one of the pillars of a good young person's portfolio. And so that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm interested in this week. If you're interested in seeing my long-term cash flowing portfolio, I post everything on Blossom Social. I also have all of my content and courses totally free on Skillshare. All of the links are down below, so definitely consider checking it out. And thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.